a Masood masterclass, but Derbyshire still behind. Middlesex went into day two at Lords in a very strong position, having finished overnight on 307 for four, and Robbie White well placed on 40 not out. A couple of boundaries started the day's play before Derbyshire made the breakthrough. Anuj Dahl clean bowling Jack Davies for 25. Robbie White then brought up his half century off 123 balls, a patient affair that included just two boundaries. But then carnage broke out. From the 110th over, Middlesex needed three runs to secure an extra bonus point. And when John Simpson fell halfway through, having not added to the score, it left it to Roland Jones to get three runs off three balls. One dot was followed by a wild hack, and he too was gone. That gave Tom Helm one ball to try and reach 350, and he did so with a slog over mid-wicket. Middlesex, 351 for seven. White continued the attack, striking Thompson for six runs, but would fall to the bowling of Connors with Middlesex approaching 400. The 400 would arrive, but Ethan Bamber would depart, caught behind to give Connors his third. And soon enough, Tim Murta was out as well. LBW to Thompson as he picked up a four-wicket haul, and Middlesex all out for 401 at lunch. Eskenazi without doubt the standout name for the home side after his century yesterday, but vital contributions too from Decares and White. Derbyshire, however, would be pleased with their morning's work as they took six wickets in the session to recover from what had looked like a fairly dire situation. Derbyshire fans got their first look at new opener Sean Massoud, who started with the boundary but was otherwise in watchful fashion as just 16 runs came off the first 10 overs of the innings as Tim Murta and Ethan Bamber kept it tight. Massoud and opening partner Billy Godelman rode their luck at times but overall built a solid base for Derbyshire as they accumulated their way towards 50 reaching the milestone in the 24th over. And it wasn't until the 28th over where Derbyshire would really be seen to cut loose, 12 runs coming off Toby Rowland's Jones over as the visiting side approached T at 65 for no loss. But the breakthrough did arrive as veteran Murtagh opened his account for the season, swinging the ball back through Godman's gate. Wicketkeeper Brooke Guest was at three and him and Masood would take their side through to the break without any further loss. Derbyshire on 77 for one with Masood on 45. After the interval, debutant Masood would reach his half century in a promising start to life at his new club. He would lose his partner Brooke Guest though at the other end, as he fell to the bowling of Tom Helm for just two. Despite the arrival of Wayne Madsen, the innings soon became the Masood show, as the Pakistani international struck a number of boundaries. Derbyshire were 124 for two, and Masood had 87 of them. And even in his dismissal, Masood was box office. Running at the offspin of Decares, he ended up on all fours as he desperately tried to get back into his crease, but to no avail. Derbyshire had only added 20 more runs when the next wicket fell, as Madsen was trapped LBW by Bamba to give the seamer his first wicket of the season. At 162 for four, and still 240 runs behind, Derbyshire were at risk of an excellent day's play going to waste, but Deploy and Reese battled through a lively final 30 minutes to get them to the close without further loss. Derbyshire finished on 177 for four, and despite still being behind in the game, a fantastic showing with the ball this morning combined with an excellent 91 from Masood means there is hope where previously there was none. A big day three awaits.